all right hello everyone another trigonometric substitution problem this time we don't have x we have t okay let's adapt if you look at the substitute part what is the substitute x is equal to oops t is equal to this time okay so a square is 9 so a is 3 right square root of 9 so this will be secant theta right from the table theta doesn't change that's the variable that we are going to use okay so now we have to find dt dt over d theta derivative of secant theta is secant theta times tangent theta i hope that you know that by now okay let's substitute perfect so here t cube is 3 secant theta cube and t square is 9 secant square right theta minus 9 dt is well, let's write it here 3 secant theta tangent theta and d theta i think i forgot to write dt it's actually 3 secant theta tangent theta d theta right take this d theta to the other side okay let's see so here 3 secant theta don't be in a hurry to simplify anything right first deal with the square root term so 3 cube is um, 27 secant cube theta so here inside the square root I can factor 9 right so secant square theta minus 1 we know the common identity Pythagorean identity tangent square theta plus 1 is equal to secant square theta so tangent square theta is if you take this one to the other side secant square theta minus 1 so that secant square theta minus 1 is actually tangent square theta so let's write the whole thing so this is tangent square theta perfect now let's take the square root because we don't have any obstacles inside the square roots obstacle like um, addition or subtraction so 3 secant theta tangent theta d theta over 27 secant cube theta if you take the square root square root of 9 is 3 square root of tangent t square is tangent theta now let's try to simplify right simplify as much as possible tangent tangent cancel out 3 3 cancel out secant and a 1 secant cancel out so what we get is 1 over 27 let's take it out over secant square theta d theta what is secant square theta well secant is 1 over cosine theta secant square is 1 over cosine square so let's write it like that so 1 over 1 over cosine square theta by reciprocal multiplication right division is same as reciprocal multiplication so one times reciprocal of one over cosine square theta is cosine square theta so this will be cosine square theta right okay all right so now we have to integrate cosine square theta well this takes us back to trigonometric integration lesson if you have missed that go to my go to the link that appears above in the video and check trigonometric integration video series okay now here we have only even power in the trigonometric function so we use double angle identity so cosine square theta is actually 2 cosine 2 theta cosine 2 theta my bad come on cosine 2 theta plus 1 over 2 so let's use it so 1 over 27 this is cosine 2 theta plus 1 over let's see 2 d theta okay perfect and then we can take this 2 outside so we get 27 times 2 is 54 cosine 2 theta plus 1 d theta so if you integrate 1 over 54 integral of cosine is sine 2 theta over 2 okay because we divide by 2 because of this 2 plus integral of 1 is theta plus c now you know i don't like to have sine 2 theta in my final solution sine 2 theta from double angle identity it's 2 sine theta cosine theta so that's identity so let's replace that so 2 sine theta cosine theta over 2 plus theta 2 cancel out okay so this is 1 over 54 sine theta cosine theta plus theta plus c perfect now we need to convert them back into t not x here so our substitute is come on t is equal to what was the substitute 3 secant theta right okay so secant theta is t over 3 
so theta here is secant inverse t over 3 well we can use it here but not here so here we have to do the that triangle trick in this place but here instead of theta we can write secant inverse t over 3 plus c now let's use the triangles trick so secant theta is actually 1 over cosine theta right so it's t over 3 so cosine theta is actually the reciprocal of this if you do the cross multiplication so cosine theta is actually 3 over 2 t not 2 so um try to convince yourself by doing it by yourself okay slowly so the triangle will be here theta and cosine theta means 3 over t 3 is the adjacent side length 3 here hypotenuse is t so let's call this c to use pythagorean identity so c square plus 3 square is equal to t square so using the pythagorean theorem so c square plus 9 is equal to t square so c square is t square minus 9 so c is just the square root of right hand side right so the unknown side is actually oh the whole triangle all right come on let's draw the whole triangle again so theta is here and our square root part is square root t square minus 9 okay so now let's replace 1 over 54 what is sine theta opposite over hypotenuse so square root t square minus 9 over t cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse 3 over t plus secant part remains the same secant inverse t over 3 plus c so this is 1 over 54 3 square root t square minus 9 t square plus secant inverse t over 3 plus c this is the final solution okay all right it was a very good problem lot of things to learn right okay so try to do the problem again by yourself and test yourself i will see you in next videos where i'm going to do more examples thank you very much bye bye